Hey, this is Jack Bourne. I'm the founder of Deadline Funnel, and today I'm going to talk about how to dial in the timing of your email sequences, particularly when it comes to a campaign that you always want to start, let's say, on a certain day. Let's say you always want to start on Monday, and you always want to end it on a Friday in this example. This is the Those are the details I'll be using in this example throughout, but the details of when you start and stop are different. But this is, this is fundamentally different than, say, just starting it on any day that someone registers or any day that someone gets a tag. We're choosing a certain day of the week to start the sequence and then have the deadline on a very predictable day of the week. All right, so the question is, what do we do with people that opt in, you know, some people are going to opt in on a Saturday, some on a Sunday, some on a Friday, some on a Wednesday, etc. You get the idea. So what do we do? How do we time this out? So there's a couple different ways, but I'm going to show you how I would do it. So first and foremost, what I would do is I would recommend separating this out into multiple sequences. Now, for a lot of email software platforms, you could do this in one sequence. You could have it that they start and then you have a, a waiting logic uh, that would say, hey, don't do anything and then wait until Monday. And then and then on that Monday, you send out the next email and then Tuesday, the next one, etc. And you could do it that way inside of one sequence. So why not do it that way? Well, I like to make these things modular so that um, so that you can reuse components, you can duplicate sequences. It just makes it a whole lot easier where you have one sequence that's just for when you're, they're going through the promotional sequence. And everything up to that is a is a waiting sequence. All right, so even if you have the ability to put it into two, I like to put it, or sorry, even if you have the ability to put it into one, I meant to say, I recommend making it modular and putting it into at least two. Now, in that situation, as you see from the blue arrow, the webhook for the uh, or the HTTP post to to synchronize the timing of the promotional emails and the deadline funnel tracking that happens uh, when they roll into the next sequence, when they roll into that second sequence. Okay. Now, what I want to show you is that things can get a little bit tricky with some email platforms. So, for example, ConvertKit has logic built into their system, but it's not quite as flexible as some of the other systems like Infusionsoft or ActiveCampaign, and that's not to knock ConvertKit. I just want to show you that it is still possible to do this, and so let me show you how. You just have to figure out a workaround. So here's the workaround. What I would recommend is doing this with three sequences. Now keep in mind, we're specifically talking about something where we're starting on a Monday and we're ending on a Friday. In this example. So sequence number one is in red. That's the waiting sequence. Same as before. Sequence number three, let's skip the middle one for now. Sequence number three is going to go from Tuesday to the deadline and I'll explain why Tuesday. And sequence number two, the one in the middle, that's going to be actually a one email sequence that's going to go out on Monday and Monday only. Now, the webhook happens when they actually roll into the last sequence. And so we need to make this one day shorter than we normally would. Okay, so why are we jumping through all these hoops to make this happen? Well, again, it's to work around some of the some of the limitations of ConvertKit. So we have a lot of clients who use ConvertKit, and I'm in no way knocking it. But let me show you how this would work. So the waiting list sequence. So, okay, let me just first explain that where I am in this screenshot in ConvertKit, you go into Automations, and then you click Rules under Automations. And so this is where you would say, okay, when someone completes the waiting list sequence, subscribe them to this one day, I'm calling this the Monday only test, right? So that's the name I've given to this sequence. So it's just going to send an email only on Monday. So this is what that looks like. So um, when, when someone you might have one email or two emails in the in that waiting list sequence, but as soon as they finish, which by the way, they might finish on a Saturday or a Sunday or or something like or a Friday, so you don't know exactly when they're going to finish that sequence. But as soon as they do, they're rolled into the Monday only sequence. All right. The first email can be set up so in the settings of that sequence, you can you can uncheck all of the all of the days except for the day that you want that first email to go out. Now the reason why we're not sending the webhook when someone joins this sequence is because again we don't know exactly what day they're going to join. We do know that the first email is going to go out on a Monday and then they're done with the sequence on that Monday. Which brings us to uh, to the next thing. 
also by the way notice that I've chosen uh, 7 you know 7 a.m. okay that might I might come back to that in a, in a little bit but the most important thing is that all of the days have been unchecked except the day we want that first email to go out all right so then we set up another automation rule so we go into convert kit automations rules and we say okay when someone completes the Monday only sequence test we want to go ahead and move them right over into the next sequence so I'm calling this the launch sequence so this would be Tuesday through Friday in our example. And we're going to add a tag at the same time. Now, why are we doing this? Because that tag is going to be the, the trigger for ConvertKit to send out the webhook. So when you go through and you set up the API integration between Deadline Funnel and ConvertKit, our system, as you go through the three-step process, is going to say, well, what tag do you want to be the trigger for this? So you would use the same tag that you're adding here when they go through. So the thing that we know about this sequence is that it's always going to start on a Tuesday because they finish on Monday and then we're going to set this up to immediately start and then send out on that Tuesday. Um, and notice that I've set it out, set it to go at 6 a.m. whereas the Monday only one was at 7 a.m. This makes sure that just in case, just depending on how the inner workings of ConvertKit happen to be, um, if, if the if ConvertKit considers that the person uh, finished on Monday and they immediately move them into that next email by setting the email send window as 6 a.m. as opposed to 7 a.m., um, then we know that it's definitely going to wait until Tuesday. So it's definitely going to wait until Tuesday to send that first email. So we know that this is always going to start on that Tuesday. And so because that's a predictable time from the following Friday, we, we know that this is the time where we want to set that tag and do the webhook as I showed before. So I backed it up a slide to show you once again that once they finish that Monday only sequence, they go right into that Tuesday through Friday sequence. They get a tag at the same time. The tag tells ConvertKit to send the webhook and that's when Deadline Funnel and ConvertKit get on the same schedule. So you just need to reduce your count um, by, by one day because the Monday email we, we, we can't predictably set a tag. ConvertKit doesn't allow us to set a tag at the same time that an email is sent. We can only set the tag based on um, other types of triggers like when a sequence is started. So that's it. That's how you go through the process with ConvertKit and work around some of the limitations that they have but still be able to do this. So I hope that this was insightful and you see that the, uh, even if you're not using ConvertKit, I've given you some ideas about how you can uh, make your campaigns a lot more modular and how to make the timing absolutely absolutely perfect so that Deadline Funnel and your email sequences are timed perfectly.